Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a full what I eat in a day. It is about 8.15 right now. I just woke up and put on a little bit of makeup for this video, but I haven't had anything to eat yet. I have been drinking a little bit of water out of my hydro flask, but I'm about to go pour myself some coffee and I usually don't eat until I'm hungry, so I wake up, drink some water, drink some coffee, and that usually holds me over for about an hour or two. Today is a little bit different because I do have class at 10.30 till like 1.15, so I do want to eat before. But yeah, I'm going to show you me pouring my coffee, I guess, and what creamer I use, and then I'm going to be sitting on my computer and doing work for a little bit until I make my breakfast. I hope that you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below. So I make my cold brew in here. I just fill it part of the way up with coffee beans, put water in, and then I let it sit for 24 hours. And then I'm using this sugar-free Italian sweet cream creamer. Um, I do switch up my creamers pretty often. I just like to flavor my coffee a little bit differently. So I just got this the other day, but I do always try to get sugar-free ones. So I've got my coffee here with me and for anybody wondering, this is a reusable cup that I got from Starbucks. The straw that came with it was because I got it during like the holiday season, but they do have these. I highly recommend them even if you don't go to Starbucks. These are super easy and convenient to carry your coffee around in and I don't know about you guys, I don't really like hot coffee. So most of the time when I drink coffee, it's iced or at least hot coffee that I let cool down quite a bit. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of work. I think I have another YouTube video to film. And I'm just gonna do that for a while and then I will make a little breakfast before I leave and show you what I have. Okay, so it is now 9.30. You saw me doing a little bit of work on my computer, editing some videos. Now I'm gonna make my breakfast. My camera battery might die, so fingers crossed that it doesn't, but I'm gonna be having egg whites, a bagel with peanut butter, apples, and some cinnamon, which is like my current go-to when I don't have avocados. So yeah, I'll show you guys how I make that. And before I do this, last time I posted, <clears throat> last time I made my breakfast and showed it, everybody was like shitting on me for not using the egg yolks i personally just don't like the taste of them and everyone's like why don't you just buy egg whites in a carton that's such a waste how do you think that they get the egg whites in the carton and they get rid of the yolk so either way i'm getting rid of the yolk call me wasteful whatever i don't like it i'm not gonna eat it and i don't really know what else i would use an egg yolk for it's way more expensive to buy egg whites in a carton than it is to buy a carton of eggs and just separate them out myself so that's what i'm doing because i pay for my own groceries that's what i want to do if you don't like it get off my page i'm not going to be mad about it so yeah just had to get that out of the way before everybody started commenting again i'm gonna go make my breakfast now
I would use this, but I'm basically out. I have like enough to put in my oatmeal later, so I'm not going to use that. Today I'm gonna to be using my Crunchy Jif, which is just as good. These ingredients are just better. Okay, so here's what I'm having for breakfast. I have my bagel cut in half and eight slices of apple with Jif crunchy peanut butter and cinnamon on top. And then I have eight egg whites, a little bit of yolk got in there, you can see right there, which is no big deal. I just don't like yolks as a whole. So I am going to be putting the macros on the screen, how I am tracking this. You just watched and I didn't weigh anything. I've been tracking macros for like, I want to say four years now on and off so I'm pretty good at looking at something and knowing that it's one portion two portions whatever so that's how I'm tracking right now I do weigh things every once in a while just when I feel like it but for the most part I'm loose I'm gonna call it loosely tracking just so I can keep track of my calories in versus out make sure that I'm roughly getting enough protein carbs and fats I'll be putting those on the screen like I said they won't be exact but I'll show you how I'm tracking what I'm eating to make sure that I'm eating enough during the day so yeah I'm gonna go eat this I have class in like 45 minutes and this class that I'm about to go to is from 10.30 to 1.15. It's a bio lab, so it's pretty long. I'll be taking a snack with me to eat afterwards because I'm going to the gym after my class. And then I'll be back here to make more food, so I'll show you that. Okay, so I'm at the gym now in the famous selfie spot. I'm wearing all Gymshark today as usual. I have the Vital Seamless leggings on in pink, size small, and the Amplify Seamless top in this gray and small as well. They're pretty low in calories and I haven't written my workout yet for the day. So why is this not focusing? I haven't written my workout for the day. So I'm gonna do that while I eat this in the locker room and then do a full body hit circuit. I'm not gonna record it because I can't take this into the gym. And also it's just easier for me to record workouts and post them on Instagram via my phone instead of having to edit them for YouTube. So yeah, if you wanna check out this workout, it'll be up on my account definitely by the time this video is posted just look for me in this outfit selfieing in this mirror so as you can see i'm extremely sweaty gross my hair looks like a freaking mess and the sun is really gonna wash me out but i just got back from the gym and my monthly women's best package came in so this video is perfect timing just show you some of my favorite things slash things I'm trying. I got a lot of snacks this time, so I'm really excited okay, about that. So how freaking cute is this packaging? I'm not gonna show you the other sides because they have my address slash apartment number on them, but I got hella stuff this time. I ordered a lot of snacks because some of them were on sale and I just wanted to try. So I got a lot of different protein crisps. I think these are kind of like crackers or chips or something. So I got sweet chili and sour cream salt and pepper, salt and vinegar, barbecue, I think I ordered literally every flavor, cheese and onion, that sounds kind of gross, but maybe that's just me, and paprika, ooh, these are interesting chip flavors, okay, so I got way too many chips, next, let's see what's in here, okay, these have been hyped up a lot, so I'm gonna try these protein bites, got a box of my favorite protein bars in the entire world because how could I not? Last time I ordered these, the box fell apart inside the box, so I'm pretty excited about this. These will fit nicely in my pantry. And then restocking my omega-3s because I will be out by the end of this month and I like to stay consistent with my supplements, so I'm pretty excited about these. What else do we have in here? Ooh! We've got some nuts and berries. These look actually pretty bomb. The macros. Okay. And I'm going to try these two protein bars. I don't really like coconut, so I just wanted to try. And I also don't really like hazelnut, but I love the strawberry bar, so I figured I would give these ones a chance. See what's up. I don't dislike chocolate. I'm just really not into hazelnut or coconut. Okay, next I got this evening relax tea and I think this is just supposed to help you like fall asleep and feel more relaxed at night. So I will keep you updated on that. There's actually a ton in here. When I picked it up, it felt like this was just an empty plastic container, but there's actually so much. Wow, and this smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. 
through the thing and there's a dog barking outside wow i'm hype about this i will post on my instagram how i feel about these really excited about this flavor of protein i haven't tried it yet raspberry vanilla i actually might put this in my shake when i go make one in a second this looks pretty good i'm excited to try and what else did i get creatine oh i guess i ordered two creatines so i'm stocked up on that and what's my last thing i don't even remember Ooh, the pre-workout booster. I'm really excited to try this. They do only have two flavors, but interested to see how this makes me feel. I'll be trying this sometime this week and I'll post about it on my story. But yeah, that's all I got in my women's best order. That's all I got. That was a ton of stuff. I really don't even know if I have room for all of this in my pantry, but we're gonna make room. I need to shower and then I'm gonna make a smoothie, shake, protein, whatever in a little bit, so I will record that. smoothie right here and if you're ever wondering why I come back in my room after I make my food I usually don't do this but for the purposes of talking to my camera a lot of the times my roommates are home and I don't want them to like walk out in the kitchen to me talking to myself so that's why we're doing that in here but I have my smoothie in here and I just want to talk to you guys real quick about why I weigh things for my smoothies and not for other things and basically it's just for like proper portion size in terms of how I want the consistency of my smoothie to be so like I don't know if you guys can see this but it's pretty thick and I like it that way I like it to be like a milkshake and despite the fact that that is brown it's because of the spinach and the berries but despite the fact that that's brown it literally tastes like candy like that smoothie is so good so when I put my macros on the screen for this and I have um I'll have like the exact grams and things like that like what i actually weigh out to get it to be that consistency so yeah i'm gonna drink this smoothie do a little bit of work and then my friend is coming over in a little bit and we are going to a float spa which is basically like a sensory deprivation tank where you just like float in a giant thing of epsom salt for an hour i'm really excited i'm hoping to like have some good meditation time but yeah, I probably will have like a little snack before then, but they recommend you don't eat before because having a full stomach can be a little bit distracting from the whole experience. So I'll probably have a little snack before then and then I'm either gonna make dinner or get Chipotle, it depends on what my friends wanna do. But I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. So I just finished my Chipotle up and I like wash my face and stuff so I don't really want to put my whole face on camera I'm breaking out a little bit and I have makeup under my eyes but I just want to check in with you guys and fill you in so you see that I've used basically all my fats and went over a little bit on my protein so what I'm gonna do is just up my fats a little bit and take those calories away from where my carbs would be because I can't eat 100 plus carbs with no fat or protein in them so i'm just adjusting my macros keeping my calories the same my main goal when i'm tracking is to hit my calories and my protein and kind of keep my my fats and carbs where i had them like all day listed um but if i have to adjust them every once in a while that's okay too i was really craving chipotle i'm glad that i got it and yeah i'm probably gonna have some oatmeal and i don't really know what else I'll keep you updated and you will see. But yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in as to what I was doing with the rest of my macros because you just saw that I have like 100 grams of carbs left. So yeah, that's what I'm doing.
Okay, so here is the granola that I'm having as cereal. This stuff is seriously bomb. If you guys have not tried this, you need to. I get them in two packs at Costco, but I'm sure you can get them anywhere. So I'm having about two servings plus some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then this will be the last thing I eat tonight. Like I said, I'm giving myself a little bit more fat from my carbs and finishing off my carbs with this. The bowl's pretty big. This is two servings and it's super filling. Okay, so it is now the next day as I'm sure you can tell because I have makeup on again. It's bright outside. Um, I just want to check in because I didn't finish off this video last night, mainly because I just looked really gross and I was ready for bed. But that does conclude my full day of eating. I did post the macros. I'll post my final macros right here. I didn't hit them 100%, but I think that's a really good point to make. Not every day is gonna be perfect. I do my best. Sometimes I eat over, sometimes I eat under. It's a work in progress, and because I'm not competing or I'm not preparing for anything, I think it's okay. As long as I'm being active, I'm full enough, and I feel good. That's really what's important to me. So yeah, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I really liked making it and hopefully in the future I can like switch up my meal ideas because I feel like this was the exact same as my last full day of eating, which is fine. I really do tend to eat the same things over and over again because what works for me is what I like to do. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment below. Also, if you don't have anything nice to say, please don't comment below because we don't do negativity on this channel, just positive vibes and uplifting other women. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.